In Nuke, you're able to dynamically change any knob's value depending on if you're looking through a viewer in Nuke's GUI or rendering your Nuke script on a render farm. This can be useful to keep your Nuke scripts light and efficient while working while automatically switching to more processor intensive tasks at render time, for example, increasing motion blur render samples. Compositors often use the dollar GUI expression to handle this. For example, dollar GUI returns one when viewing through Nuke's viewer, or it returns zero in any other context where no GUI is present. Dollar GUI question mark two colon 10 is similar where the first value two is what will show in the GUI, otherwise 10 will be the value used. However, dollar GUI has one big drawback. Nuke still uses the GUI when rendering locally and so our dollar GUI expression would return the wrong value. So how do we get around this? There's a Python function built into the Nuke module called nuke.executing. Nuke's documentation states that this function returns whether an executable node is currently active or not. An example of an executable node is the curve tool, which has the go button or a right node with its render button. Like with TCL's $GUI expression, you can use this Python function in any knob by right-clicking the knob and choosing edit expression. Next, click the PY button to indicate we're using Python instead of TCL and type nuke.executing. The returned value will be true when rendering, so it will return a value of one to this knob. Otherwise, it's going to return zero when looking through the viewer. If you wanted to invert this, for example, having a value of one in the viewer and zero at render time, you can use one minus nuke.executing as one minus zero equals one. Of course, when rendering, one minus one equals zero. Lastly, 10 if nuke.executing else two will return a value of 10 when rendering or two otherwise. You can read this as set the value to 10 if nuke is executing, otherwise set the value to two. It's a better alternative to dollar GUI for setting dynamic values that update when working versus rendering. As always, it's good practice to label any nodes which have these expressions in them so that other artists can easily find them when opening your nuke script. As a shortcut, perhaps you can create a right-click menu item to quickly add this function to a knob. See the video's description for details if you're interested in how to do this.